Hey everybody, I'm Monica McKenzie, joined by Brett McGibbon to preview the upcoming games for the men's D1 hockey team. So let's talk about what just happened this last weekend. The team traveled to Delaware and they actually swept the team. They claimed the ESCHL regular season title for the first time ever. What does this mean for the program? It means there's growth right now, right? With all the young guys from last year and the rookies this season, you can tell that throughout this year, they've really started to, to bond together and grow and mature in their game and advance. And I think winning the ESCHL title is just a, a huge moment for the program moving forward. And I think there's a lot more to come. It wasn't actually an easy weekend for the team. They found themselves down 4-1 on Saturday, but were able to score six unanswered goals. What does that mean for the team? I mean, it's a little bit un unsettling to see them down by so many goals. I'm not surprised, to be honest, because here's the deal. You win it, it's a big emotional victory on the Friday night, right? And you win that title. Then you come in the next day, and there's that emotional letdown. Yeah. And so you start off slow, which happens, but then you can see the motor gets revving, the guys are willing to sacrifice the body, you know, get in the car for the boys kind of thing, and just move forward. So it's a, and honestly, if I was the coaching staff, I'd almost be happier with that win than the night before because it shows that your guys have a level of maturity that they can realize within themselves that we're not playing well, turn it around and have a huge comeback within a game. And little victories like that throughout a season can be big when it comes playoff time yeah. at nationals and say you're down going into the third by two, you know that, hey, we can come back and come back with authority. Western Michigan is coming to town this weekend for the first time ever. Okay. What can fans expect from that non-conference matchup? Well, it's a team that can come out and kind of nip you in the butt, if you want to say that. They, uh, they <laughs> knocked off a top 10 team here recently, so the Flames are going to have to be careful. You know, a northern group that typically play that, that physical brand of hockey that you have to be wary of. But here's the deal. If the Flames play their game and play it well and are, are smart, make good decisions, get the puck in deep, use their speed, they're going to be fine. And I think the depth of the Flames and also their high-end talent, you know, your top six right now is great. The Quinn Ryan line's fantastic. And then Devin Pierce coming in mm -hmm. has added a nice element to Bashinsky and Gammer. And they're scoring. And, and Pierce, obviously, you know, you look at his track record here, four games, he had four goals. And, you know, this past weekend, he was solid as well. So I think they'll be just fine. Yeah, definitely. Well, taking a look at the rest of the season, only three more matchups to go. What does the team need to focus on and accomplish in the rest of the regular season? At this point, it's just details. What's going to give you that extra step at nationals and just cleaning up your game. Obviously, you want to make sure you're not turning over the puck in the neutral zone, turning over the puck in your own zone. You want to have your power play clicking. So it's just, it's little areas of your game that could, it's, it's funny, like, you know, you give a team an inch, they'll take a mile. So you want to make sure you're not giving any opponent any area of weakness to exploit you on. And you also want to make sure that you're firing on your specialty teams because hot goaltending specialty teams in a national tournament format can go a long way. Definitely. Well, thank you for your insight. As always, fans, come join us at the LIC this weekend. But if you can't make it, the games will be streamed online. And as always, for more information, head over to our website. Thanks for watching.